do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos students today we will discuss about another physics paper j w e mains physics 2014 so let us discuss all these questions one by one students let us move to the next question question number 3 mass m is suspended or supported by a massless uh, string this is a massless string and this mass is uh, supported would uh, mount around a uniform hollow cylinder so this is a basically pulley type object this is a hollow cylinder on which this uh, thread string is uh, wounded uh, a cylinder of mass m this mass is also m this mass is also m and the radius of this uh, cylinder is r so basically there is a cylinder like this on which uh, this uh, string is one and uh, there goes a block suspended from here like this so <clears throat> if the string doesn't slip on the cylinder so if it is not slipping that means uh, the there is no relative motion between the between the uh, string and the uh, pulley or the cylinder because the 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 string goes like this and as this goes down this rotates the string uh, the acceleration of the string and the acceleration of uh, this uh, cylinder will uh, be same because there is no slipping so what with what acceleration will the mass fall on release this is uh, basically a question on uh, rotational motion so we have few things to write first thing is that the free body diagram if i write the free body diagram of the block free body diagram this block is having mass m is it down there is a tension in the string resistor okay so now if i suppose that this goes down with acceleration a then uh, from newton's law we know that the net unbalanced force net force here i write mg minus t is mass into a this is equation number 1 this has to move down with this amount of force this is net force again uh, if i draw the diagram once again this is uh, the this is how the pulley goes uh, the string goes this is a string okay so there's number of such things like that this is a string okay now is a block over here block of mass m <coughs> now uh this radius is r as this uh, rotates the, the as this falls down the drum the cylinder rotates with suppose uh, omega angular velocity omega or angular acceleration is alpha then at a given instant we are talking about at a given instant because uh, as this falls down this will go on increasing omega will keep on increasing but then omega will remain the same because uh, torque is same now i will write uh, because uh, if i consider uh, this uh, as a cylinder and the string i will just uh, draw outside it just to just to have a understanding that as uh, the this drum rotates and uh, as this point of contact between the these two the acceleration of this point uh, and the acceleration of this uh, must be same the acceleration of the cylinder and the acceleration of the string must be same because this is not sliding so they have to move together so that means uh, the acceleration of uh, the string acceleration of string is uh, a because we have considered this as moving down with a and uh, acceleration of the cylinder is uh, because it is rotating with angular uh, uh, acceleration alpha this is alpha r so a equals to because uh, this acceleration of the cylinder is alpha r so and that uh, is equal to this two or same so that is a that from this here i'll get a equals to alpha r means whatever acceleration this is falling down with the same acceleration this is to rotate and to write the acceleration of the drum 
half cylinder in terms of uh, angular acceleration this has to be alpha into r so i have this is equation number two then i have to use a torque equation torque equation what is the torque equation torque is uh, i alpha because uh, this torque uh, i is the moment of inertia of this uh, uh, no, I am writing the talk about uh, this point. Oh, then this is a uh, moment of inertia of this uh, rotating drum about this axis because it is rotated about that axis. So, it is a drum, I will consider this as to be a uh, hollow cylinder. So, it is a hollow cylinder is a ring. So, for hollow cylinder, this uh, moment of inertia about this axis because about the axis about which it is rotating is uh, like a uh, moment of inertia of the ring about the center of mass and perpendicular to the plane that is m r square so right here m r square and alpha this is torque then but then uh, i know that this torque is uh, produced by the <coughs> tension who is producing that this is the tension which is acting like that the tension the force is responsible for this uh, <coughs> Uh, top. So this top is also the tension force, so the force into perpendicular distance that is uh, T into R. So this is equation number 3. So one equation I have uh, because uh, there is no slipping, so it is L alpha, another is uh, T R equals to M R square alpha and the first equation I got is uh, Mg minus T is uh, mass into acceleration. So I have got three equations. <coughs> I will uh, solve those three equations simultaneously to get the value of uh, acceleration. How is that done? So, let me write those equations and solve. Let us write those equations. First equation was uh, mg minus t is equal to mass into acceleration. The second equation I write as a equals to alpha r. The third one is uh, the third equation I wrote is <coughs> the tension, the string, and the radius provides you the torque that is uh, m r square alpha m r square alpha i alpha i want uh, the acceleration as a function of function of acceleration due to gravity so because in the options i have uh, you can see in the option the acceleration has to be in the form of g is a function of g so i have to eliminate all those not required so i'll first use these two equations here uh, uh, i'll uh, t as if i cancel one r t equals to mr alpha i'll substitute this here first i'll eliminate t so i'll write uh, mg mg equals to mg uh, okay, mg minus mr alpha because t value this is substituted here and this is m into a. Again, I will cancel m, m is not required. g minus r alpha equals to a. So, this uh, this uh, no, alpha r is a. So, this uh, is another uh, substitution. This equation is used here r alpha here r alpha here alpha here because we don't want uh, r also or an alpha also so i'll substitute minus this value is a from this equation equals to a that means a comes to this side is 2a 2a value is equal to g so a becomes g by 2. so this is the a as a function of g so acceleration is uh, g by 2. now if i see the options if i see the options then uh, i have the option number two which is g by 2. it's the correct answer to this question in case that it is a solid cylinder that you have to keep in mind this is a hollow cylinder if it is solid cylinder then it is a mr square by 2 then in place of here is 2 will be there here 2 will be there then that will also lead to some different result so that also you must keep in mind okay so basically uh, this uh, uh, question is about to by uh, no, how to write the force equation torque equation and then uh, consider the uh, no slipping condition by these three conditions you solve the equations okay thank you